Hello everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Today uh, we are going to talk about how does climate change impact the stocks. Uh, this is brought to you by Financial Blog. Uh, let's go ahead. So uh, this is uh, again just a reminder this brought to, you, uh, brought to you by Financial Blog. Before you proceed, consider subscribing and uh, checking out our other videos. It really helps us uh, making more such videos in future. So now that we get started, it does not matter uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, climate change and stocks. If you believe in financial, uh, if you believe in the climate change or not, uh, whatever we are going to present today and talk about it will still apply because the points which we are going to consider are going to stand true irrespective of your belief so um, let's go ahead okay so whether or not you believe in climate change the answer for the question there is going to be same for you and it's going to be common denominator uh, the, the question here is, what are the globally noted events for climate change, right? So whenever you ask this question to yourself, uh, there are going to be some common things irrespective of you believe in climate change or not. These, these things are going to be common for you. So if we go ahead, uh, point number one here is... Uh, whether or not you believe in climate change, the things which are noted uh, globally around the climate change are same and reported globally, right? We still have weather reports, we still have tornado warnings, and we still have wildfires, fires, occurrence, etc., right? And these these things are noted commonly across the globe, uh, regardless. Point number two here is. Paris Climate Agreement or there might also be other climate agreements but this is one of the most uh, global and important one. So agreements like this nobody can deny a fact that this this uh, agreement exists right and nobody can deny a fact that you know the weather reports, tornado warnings, wildfire, wildfires etc exist. So with this we will try to see how this may impact the stock market and global financial mar markets uh, in this regards okay so let us first talk about the first point which we raised which was weather reports tornado warnings wildfires etc so if we go ahead when these events are reported three kinds of stocks may reflect the impact now what what are these first stock type may be insurance Second stock type may be all kinds of power stocks, right? Third stock type may be prevention stocks. Um, now what these are, let's cover in the next slides. So example of if we take power company, say PG&E, which is Pacific Gas and Electric Company, it has been lately a lot in news for California wildfire, wildfires. So uh, it is said that their um, power connection uh, was spread through the California areas uh, where the wildfire occurs. And thus you would see this, this, this stock of the company fluctuating more uh, whenever something around that wildfires or, you know, uh, wildfires, etc. News, news occur. So um, this is when uh, you would see the reflection in this type of company. So this is one example of that. If we take the other example, which we which you mentioned earlier for insurance companies. Uh, so whenever tornadoes, etc. cause damage or flood, etc. causes damage, right? The car cars are damaged more, right? Or if tornadoes are ca causing damage, the houses are damaged, etc. So basically in these cases, the insurance companies will have to pay off. Now their balance sheet will be impacted. How so? It really depends on how vast the impact was, and uh, um, you know how much they will have to pay off if that was already accommodated when they sold the insurance or not. 
these factors matter and these factors will change their profit and loss and balance sheet and this eventually uh, or you know sentimentally may impact also their stock prices right so there are many insurance company you can google it yourself or you might already be invested in so these are the points to note let's go ahead next is prevention companies so whenever such large event occurs like some companies might be selling fire alarms for example or some companies might be selling some technology which will prevent fire or you know basically help us control the fire or flood or whatever for that matter right so whatever these companies are their profit and loss their balance sheet and their stocks may impact uh, when these kind of events occur so that's food for thought let's go ahead so before we proceed to the next part uh, again just a gentle reminder consider subscribing liking and commenting and and sharing our videos it really helps us uh, in the youtube algorithm and it helps us making more such videos let's go ahead so now let's talk about the other part which was the paris climate agreement right so basically um whenever this paris climate uh, climate climate agreement comes into effect it will basically restrict certain types of usage uh, of fuel it will restrict certain types of uh, climate friendly uh, approaches of businesses and that will imp impact how businesses are businesses uh, conduct sell product uh, or their practices so for example i have listed many examples below with uh, help of my uh, my friends and family so if you see there the gas companies right like for example uh, in in that there are various segments like the pipeline companies which move gas from one location to other there are discovery companies which go and discover the gas and petroleum all the time there are refineries which will refine the petroleum so all these types of gas companies would be impacted right the next companies are the fuel mixture ingredient companies so whenever the gasoline is sold there are components which are mixed into this for controlling the climate and these companies may also be impacted uh, when the climate change agreements come into place next is fuel byproducts so whenever the gasoline is extracted or there are some byproducts like mattresses plastics etc these companies may be adversely or uh, uh, or uh, accordingly Im impacted whenever this happens right based on the whether the price goes up or goes down and how it impacts that industry uh, so these are definitely going to be impacted next is clean energy companies so say you know windmill solar energy companies whatever companies are um, uh, uh, are trying to do more accordingly to the climate agreement those are of course going to benefit they are of course going to sell more when this climate agreement starts coming into play more and more next is things like electric cars so electric cars companies at the end user level definitely will probably end up start selling more cars based on the government subsidies etc uh, so those are going to be uh, likely positively impacted note that the electric car saves the uh, pollution at the consumption level but again it really depends on how the electricity was generated but still it's it's one step towards the uh, better climate direction so those are expected to be positively impacted and next one but not the least one are going to be electricity companies so again it really depends on how the source of the electricity city was was it generated by coal or by nuclear or by uh, windmill it really depends on that but uh, um, those companies are going to be impacted also note that if they sell more electric cars the consumption of electricity is going to increase with that so that is also going to of course matter so uh, those uh, those are a couple of uh, stocks which may be impacted by the climate change now again all whatever we spoke about so far is is kind of a generic food for thought uh, you can start engaging and researching more uh, with this guideline and i will you know we will also try to make more such videos to to uh, keep you guys posted and updated but i i hope this triggers some thoughts and it gives you some new perspective um, so i i guess that's about it if we go ahead 
a couple of points I wanted to cover. Uh, for, for a disclaimer, I am not a certified financial advisor, neither me or my family or any of people who work with me. So uh, take this with a grain of salt. Um, this basically for knowledge sharing and research and for an entertainment perspective. I, I, we, you know, we have taken utmost care, but it's possible that we have made some errors. So we would ban no liability. Uh, me, my family, or my friends may have positions in the stocks or segments which we talk about. Um, do your own diligence before investing. Financial markets can be risky, and good luck investing. And again, I'll you know we'll post some videos here you you might like. Consider uh, watching them and like and subscribe and comment. And have a wonderful day, guys. Bye bye.